Hi guys, I understand that we're going through some very challenging times. I get it. Who doesn't want the walks by the beach? or seeing their friends, or going and exercising outdoors. We all want that. But we care about each other. That's why we decided to follow the guidelines of social distancing. And one of the greatest pleasures of staying at home is actually eating some great food. And I do understand that it's easy to binge and eat more than what you need when you're constantly at home. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I eat in a day while isolated. And one of the greatest ways to start your day is starting by hydrating yourselves. You can just drink a glass of water, that is absolutely fine, or you can spice it up a little bit. So what I do is add a little bit of ginger, and ginger boosts your immune system, and then I add a little bit of turmeric, like one third of teaspoon turmeric, which contains curcumin, and curcumin has anti-inflammatory properties. And then I sprinkle a little bit of pepper, because pepper boosts the properties of curcumin, which means that you get out of, more out of it. And I drink it with my capsules of D3 and Q2. D3 is the, is the vitamin for sun, so I take that because um, we need it these days. And also I take um, capsules for, uh, for my hair, to strengthen my hair. So they just have, um, I think, a variety of B vitamins. For breakfast today, I'll have something super easy. Yogurt, you can choose any yogurt of your choice. I'm using sheep yogurt because it has lots of protein and fats and I will top it up with various seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, lean seeds and with dark chocolate and crushed almonds and walnuts. And that's my, my breakfast, I love it. And obviously I'm pairing it up with coffee and today I'm fancying Greek coffee, similar to Turkish one. You can also see the process of making it. I was breakfast and I did some work in the meantime. And now it's time for lunch. I usually eat lunch around two o'clock. It gives me enough time to digest my food and to look forward to my next meal, which is going to be avocado on toast with poached egg, some seeds, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I will toast bread, make it super crispy and sprinkle a little bit of olive oil here and oregano because it gives a little bit more flavor and it's delicious. This will go into the oven to 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes approximately. And in the meantime, I will also poach the egg. I recently came across Nigella's way of poaching eggs, which I thought is super clever. So I'm doing it the same way. So fridge cold eggs cracked into a tea strainer to let the watery bit be removed. I will gently then transfer the egg to a cup and add a bit of a lemon juice. It allows the egg white to hold its shape better. Slip in the egg slowly into hot water and turn the heat down so it cooks nicely. By now the bread should be ready. I will smash an avocado as well and paste it on the bread. Add some seeds, a little bit of greens, add the poached egg, sprinkle with more seeds and crushed nuts, sprinkle with a bit of olive oil and season as you prefer. And look at this just looks great look at this and that was my lunch super exciting and delicious i really loved it really enjoyed it 
my dinner is around 6 to 7 so probably today it will be around 6 30 and because it's quite early usually when i work uh, from the office or um, i have the gym i go out usually my dinner times vary they're around 7 to 8 now i can eat earlier and that's why i don't eat snacks in between my lunch and my dinner and for dinner today, I will eat salmon with various vegetables, root vegetables. So very easy to make. Um, in a pan, I will add the salmon, olive oil, season it, and then different root vegetables. You can choose whatever you like. I had sweet potato, peppers, and courgette. So I did those in the oven, super exciting to eat them. So the fish will require around 30 minutes to be cooked with the vegetables at 180 degrees Celsius. And pair it with a great green salad and that will be it. So my final routine of the day is a cup of tea and either chatting with friends or watching movies, catching up on with TV series, uh, whatever I guess anyone prefers. And I think it's time for me to sign off and stay safe and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys!